Again. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want them to be is trying to change a dog into a cat. A cat into a horse, they are what they are, and you are what you are. Market rise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 138, NASDAQ up 60, S&P's up 15 and a half, gold contract down $26.70, trading at $14.79 an ounce. Silver down 53 cents, $17.12 an ounce. Late sweet crude off a buck 83, $54.08 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10-year note down four ticks, 130.08. 30-year bond off three ticks, 162.08. Now, let me tell you, we're going to go over these folks, but these notes and bonds are still the canary and the coal mine and what they, they want. Higher price, lower yield. You're at the last day of the quarter. You've got window dressing happening in spades. That being said, that you get the Dow up 138, the Nasdaq up 60, and the S&P's up 16. Guess what? It's still an inside day, and they haven't got over the highs of last Friday. King Dollar. King Dollar has. King Dollar's up 269 ticks, trading 99,379. That is over its high right now, and we'll see where good old King Dollar wants to go. And that's going to be predicated on where the euro wants to go. The euro got to 108 today. Right now, you're at 109. The pound's at 122 to 1 U.S. dollar. The yen is at 108 to 1 U.S. dollar. My phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you know, well, first off, let's go take a look at the futures first. So you take a look at the futures, what you're gonna see out here is that uh, the high the high of today inside the future market was 29.85. Right now you're close to this high, you're 29.79. Bottom line though, the high of Friday was uh, 29.93. Uh, you take a look at this, it'll be intriguing to see uh, just what they, I suspect they're gonna hold coming into the close. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see just how much they can hold on the aspect on the way up. Right now they have a shot of uh, basically bringing this down to uh, about another three points, 2977. Uh, NQ. So we take a look at the NQs out here. At same type of setup as the S&Ps. Um, less strength, actually. The NQ, the NQ, the highs on Friday in the NQs was 78.22. The high today is 77.81. So you can see uh, you're talking about big numbers. Uh, you get a sideways move, you're up 60 bucks. Gold contract. Now we're talking, man. So check this out. Gold contract. So, well, what we have out here in the gold contract is this. You've done 415,000 contracts. That's lighter than what you're going against. That being said, however, bottom line, the gold contract, the number that you want to see a close above if you're a bull is 1484.30. We're at 1479.50 right now. Uh, what you did have is that gold got down to the 1470 mark. And we pull this back, what you're going to see, there we go. We pull this back, what you're going to see is that you're going to see the first downdraft was at 11 o'clock this morning. That's when we went from 1485 to 1478. You had 22,000 contracts at that level. Tw 10 minutes later, you had 19,000 contracts as you got down to 1472. Then check it out. This is the important one. Well, they're all important, but this is really important. Why? Because when we made the low, we only made the low with 50 with 7,600 contracts. So what does that say? Well, that says, folks, all the stops are taken out. There's no more sellers down at that level because uh, the correlation goes like this. The correlation goes 7,600 contracts, 19,000 contracts, and 22,000. And 22,000 contracts was right where we are right now is at 1478.30. Silver did the exact same type of setup. Uh, what you had with the silver contract, uh, the number on silver... Uh, was 1710, and I'll show you where I got 1710 from. We went down to 1698, it rejected that level, and right now you are laying out at 1709, and what you're gonna see is that 1710 was the breakout area from the 23rd. Uh, we got under that number, you're gonna reject that number, and the differential also, by the way, so in the gold market, you're doing a 
400 and something thousand contracts versus 600. And the silver market, the contraction, and that was a contraction, no doubt, by about a third. And the silver market, the contraction is much, much bigger. So bottom line, what does that, what does that set up? That sets up, well, let's go over to the dollar first. Because what, you, what we do have out here is that the dollar uh, is at highs. It stayed over the high from September 3rd. Uh, the September 3rd high was at 99,370. It's been trying to get over that for quite some time. You are at 99,389. So bottom line, we'll see how that uh, sets up, meaning staying over it. Uh, a couple of the gold equities, uh, you, we have some divergence. Well, first, let's do to the GDX, because if you go to the GDX, what you're going to see inside the GDX is that you're down 72 cents. Your swing point out here had 80 million shares traded. That's $26.60. We went to 26.54, you rejected it, and you're gonna come in with about 50 million versus 80 million. So that's gonna be a rejection of lower price. With light of volume, that is saying that those equities still wanna go higher. And in fact, when you look at a few of these equities, um, you can basically get to really understand the strong equities inside the gold market versus the weak ones. If we go take a look at Barrick Gold, you're gonna see a strong like bull. The swing point in Barrick Gold is $16.93. It only got down to $17 and it rejected that level. So that is pretty intense. Royal Gold. Royal Gold, this is a large streamer. Royal Gold, same setup. You're down $2.31. That didn't make the lows also of $120.70. Franco Nevada, FNV. We take a look at Franco Nevada. Franco Nevada also didn't make its lowest swing point. Its lowest swing point of Franco Nevada is $89.46. You made it to $90.55. Now, here's another canary, and this one's a monster one, folks. Because what we have is this. You have the last day of the quarter. Window dressing is out here in spades. You can expect it in the next couple of days also. Uh, bottom line, now let's go over to the bond market. You look at this bond market, folks. This bond market is absolutely rejecting lower price. You get a sideways movement out here today. No, you get a million shares, million contracts, no big deal. This wants higher price. There's no sellers. There's no sellers in the 10-year. There's no sellers in the 30-year. Stay right there, folks. We'll come back right back with our man, Mr. Dave White. We are uh, going to talk, and uh, Dave's had uh, quite a few uh, amazing trades inside his newsletter uh, coming up to option expiration, uh, equity trades as well as option trades. We're going to be talking about them. Dow, Dow right now up 145, NASDAQ up 61, S&P's up 16 and a half. We're coming right back. <laughs>